What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Bernice Burgos is a very popular model, especially uh, amongst the hip hop vixen world. She's in her 40s, uh, but in her heyday, I mean, listen, she was a lot of guys dream. You know, a lot of brothers, even still today, uh, believe Bernice Burgos uh, is very attractive. I mean, I don't know if some of that stuff is fake that she's working with, but she's definitely thick. Now she is uh, weaving and sandaling it up, um, but she does her thing. I'm not no hater. You know what I mean? Uh, she, she's good, good looking and all of that. However, Bernice Burgos, unfortunately, was a teenage mother and her daughter, Ashley Maurice Burgos, um, is 25 years old. And both of them were headed out to uh, this gentleman's club called Truth, which is in Houston, Texas. Now, we cannot show the entire video. OK, but maybe like a few seconds, what you'll see is on her TikTok, you see her and her daughter looking looking more like maybe we'll just show screenshots right we don't even want to show the whole video because they'll get a flag but you'll see her daughter and her on instagram in the bathroom both of them twerking her slapping her daughter on the ass okay and um and it looks like they're not even mother and uh and, and daughter it looks like their sisters. That's the relationship that they have. And a lot of times, you know, I know there's some things going on right now uh, with certain creators saying certain things and stuff like that. Certain people weighing in on the R. Kelly things and, and on either side. I want to talk about when you see the mothers encouraging this particular behavior, where is the outrage? I get it when the guys do it. I get it when R. Kelly do it, does it? I get it when Bill Cosby supposedly does it. Fine, you get no argument from me. We know that there are guys in the black community that are complete creeps. We know that there are monsters amongst men in the community. I, I can't argue, I can't defend it, I won't. Every black man knows there are guys out there who target you know, underage girls or target whatever. We understand that that happens. There are those kind of people out there in the black community. We know it, it happens, okay? But when you have promiscuity, that is pretty much encouraged by the mom, it kind of goes off on deaf ears, okay? Now, a lot of people, you know, didn't like the fact that, hey, your daughter, you're slapping your daughter on the butt, telling her to twerk it up, it, it makes you think about what happens when like, oh, for example, Mike Tyson in, in the 80s. He would be in his limousine, okay? You will see mothers running up to the limousine, offering up their daughters, please marry my daughter. I, I mean, you don't even, I mean, people don't talk about those things, but when you, when you talk about a lot of times when young sisters in the black community get introduced to things, it's, it's typically two culprits. One, their moms. Two, their friends. Okay. Or whoever else. And like I said, everybody in the black community understands this. If you had a um a girlfriend, okay, let's say it's you back in high school hanging out with some chicks. Okay. How do most of, of, of a young a lot of young guys in high school back in the 90s, how do we even find our girlfriends? Because their friends would introduce you to friends. Okay? I, I'm on a harmless level, right? A lot of women introduce their friends. I've seen women, as it's a true story. Women who were completely not into partying. Women not into nothing. They start chicken, kicking it with their friends. Their friends are so-called, as you say in Africa, slay queens. Introduce church girls into a whole nother life. 
I'm talking about you come back like a year or two later and you're like, damn, I didn't even know you was, or just, you know, uh, a Bertha or whoever else. You know what I mean? Like, damn, like what happened to you? And completely that like that girl is completely different. Now imagine if that's your mom. You see your mom as a video vixen. You see your mom in 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 uh, twerking. And then your mom puts up a TikTok video. Okay, so l let me just slap my daughter on the ass. Let me show you. Let me say this. Let me say this. A lot of women are introduced to industries. Okay. Certain types of work by people who should be looking out for them. All right? That are female. We don't want to talk about it. But Bernice Burgos, if you don't believe me, click on that link and look for yourself. Do you think she just started doing that when she was 25? Okay? That kind of behavior probably been happening all along. It's just, okay, she's 25 and I'm 41. Now, how many times you probably, that girl, didn't seen her mama come in and do all kind of stuff? Again, it's going on deaf ears. Mama can do no wrong. All right, cool. I got that. You know, because mama didn't do anything wrong ever in life. It, it's just me. I'm the one that's tripping. Got that. You know, like, what was I thinking about? You know what I'm saying? What the hell was I thinking about? Mama can't do nothing wrong. Right. Right. And then when their mamas, and, and, you know, uh, and, and it, like, even with the R. Kelly thing, that's, you, you know, we, we heard from people like, yo, R. Kelly, a lot of these young women, it, it was said that their mamas was introducing him to, and it's still wrong, regardless on his part. But this is something that needs to be talked about. And again, my question is, where is the dad? Bernice Burgos got two kids. Where did daddy at? Of any child, where did daddy at? Why don't why don't nobody know him? Nobody, right? And, and we want we want to know why. I, I'll tell you if you if you really want to know. Ain't no dad. And here's the situation. Okay, this young woman who is up here doing that and going to the club with her mama like it's her best friend. She ain't gonna never meet no guy that's worth the weight in gold all right all the kind of guys that she gonna be clicking it with are the same kind of guys that the mama was dealing with all right the same kind of guys that the mama was dealing with y'all don't want to talk about this do you all right so when a lot of times women introduce their daughters to the kind of men they're going to be dealing with. Okay. They're like the same kind of no good ass men that mama liked. Y'all don't want to talk about this. I know that you don't. Don't even worry about it though. Cause I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. It's fine. You don't have to talk about it because I will. You ain't got to talk about what I'll talk about. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it all day long. You know, because when it happens with guys, we understand. I have no argument. I have no defense. When men do shit like this, I have no defense for it. You're not going to get no defense from me. But the problem is when it happens with women, where's the outrage? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains an all-time high. I'm out. <laughs>